during benediction, we begin our triduum devotion in honor of St. Philomena. O God, who dost sustain St. Philomena in the midst of her sufferings, grant us that by being firm in faith and charity, we may never be separated from thee by any temptation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Two virgin martyrs who come to us today in the calendar are of particular interest to us. On the general calendar of the Church, St. Susanna. St. Susanna is the patron saint, in a sense, of us American Roman Catholics. You know that each nationality has its own church in the eternal city of Rome. And it is the church of St. Susanna which is given to the Americans as the American parish. A very beautiful church with the frescoes on one side of the wall telling the story of the Old Testament Susanna, the book of Daniel. And on the other side of the wall from the story of the martyrdom of St. Susanna, who was the niece of Pope St. Caius, who was cruelly tortured before she was beheaded for her virginity and her martyrdom. And then, of course, we all know St. Philomena, that wonderful, beloved saint whose relics were discovered just at the beginning of the 19th century. And God vouchsafed to work so many miracles through her that in a short time, devotion to St. Philomena spread throughout the entire church. And many, many saints, venerables, and blesseds are known for their great love and devotion to St. Philomena, as are many of you who we all of us hope one day to be saints in heaven. A wonderful thing to see so many of you at Holy Mass this evening to honor this great saint and miracle worker. What is the miracle that we could look for from St. Philomena this evening? You know that she's a patroness of pretty near everything. She's a patroness of expectant and troubled mothers. She's the patroness of family problems, of financial problems, of real estate dealings, the patroness of the propagation of the faith, the patroness of the living rosary, a patroness, too, of despair or given up causes. She's the patroness of pretty near everything that could afflict us, tempt us, or try us here below. Certainly many, many thousands, beginning with the great saint, the curie of ours, are those who have gone to St. Philomena and have had their prayers answered in an, ex an extraordinary, beautiful, and very moving way. The first miracle that St. Philomena grants us, though, is this. In the midst of all of life's troubles, and make as many novenas as you will, you'll still have some that heaven decides you should keep. In the midst of all of life's troubles, we must never forget that these are mercies of Almighty God. Yes, mercies of Almighty God. Saints with this or that physical problem would sometimes refer to them as the mercy of our Lord. St. Philomena beautifully exemplifies that for us. This coming Sunday, the Church will ask our Lord for his mercy, saying that our Lord shows his omnipotence chiefly by showing mercy to us. And that is why he gives us miracle workers like St. Philomena. Mercy, if you remember, is what? It is the response of God's goodness and charity to man's misery. Abbot Marmion says that God's mercy takes man's misery into his heart, into his sacred heart. So each of us, with all of our miseries, whether it be of body, of mind, or of soul, or some combination of the three, usually, are by God's mercy and the intercession of the saints 
taken in to the Sacred Heart of Jesus to find our abode there. The saints, and Philomena means to teach us tonight, the saints look upon their troubles, which finally lead to suffering and death, martyrdom, white or red, with or without the shedding of blood. They look upon it as a mercy of God. This is what uh, Father Butler wrote in the Lives of the Saints for this day, about a century before St. Philomena's relics were found. Sufferings were to the martyrs the most distinguishing mercy, extraordinary graces, and sources of the greatest crowns and glories. All afflictions which God sends are in like manner the greatest mercies and blessings. They are the most precious talents to be improved by us to the increasing of our love and affection to God, the exercise of the most heroic virtues of self-denial, patience, humility, resignation, and penance. They are most useful and necessary to bring us to the knowledge of ourselves and our Creator, which we are too apt to forget without them. Wherefore, whatever crosses or calamities befall us, we must be prepared to bear them with a patient resignation to the divine will. We ought to learn from the martyrs to comfort ourselves and to rejoice in them as the greatest blessing. How base is our cowardice! How criminal our heart! if by neglecting to improve these advantageous talents, sickness, losses, and other afflictions, we make the most precious mercies our heaviest curse. By honoring the martyrs, we pronounce our own condemnation. So I think the first grace St. Philomena gives us is to see that all of these things for which we pray humbly, confidently, in a childlike way to be, re to be relieved of are actually mercies from God. And the saints saw it that way. And that's why they are saints in heaven. In other words, if you need to improve in someone, if you need graces for yourself or someone else, if you need to atone for your past sins. These are just some of the reasons why God would send you a cross. But, at the same time, the second grace of a great miracle worker like Saint Philomena is surely this, that he sees, God sees, that sometimes we're just not up to it. It seems too heavy to bear. And it becomes for us a temptation, some danger of fall, or we might just be weary or discouraged in need of some relief from heaven. Those are all reasons why heaven answers our prayers, as well as to glorify the saints, and especially to help those whose faith is weak or non-existent. So you see the list of reasons why we should bear and the list of reasons why we should forbear. And we leave it all to the providence of a good God who has given us such wonderful saints as Saint Philomena. But think of this when something on your list isn't answered tonight.